Hello and welcome to Bite Size with Pete and not Kristen this week. She's uh, unavailable, so we have Dennis Louie instead. He's our special guest star. Uh, Dennis is one of our uh, engineers on the power side of the, the house, so he's well versed in discussing the uh, electrical side. Uh, and what we're going to talk about today uh, is going to cover uh, the, the classic light bulb test. We're going to compare a line interactive with an online uh, UPS system. Uh, just a quick recap on bite size. So each week we take a different vertive product or solution uh, and we, then we cover it in a little bite sized chunk, about a 10 minute long video, uh, and we share it with our, our trusted and, and valued LinkedIn crowd. So, uh, Dennis, what do we got today? Well, we got ourselves two different types of UPSs, one being an online double conversion, also basically full uh, isolation from utility, and then you have something called a line interactive UPS. Uh, and we offer both here at Vertiv. So. Okay, great. Yeah. So when and why would you have a UPS in an in a electrical environment? Sure. So you're trying to protect against any power outages or sags or surges within the electrical system. So a lot of times you may have uh, a power outage during a weather event, but uh, a lot of times you also have flickering of the lights, a switch upstream. So there could be an ATS at your building, or it could even be utility switching. Okay, great stuff. So why the light bulbs then? Well, you got to visualize it somehow, so electricity is kind of hard to see when everything is just behind wires. So we've got ourselves some old incandescent light bulbs to kind of illustrate power quality. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So we couldn't splash out for the, um, what are they called, energy efficiency light bulbs? Energy efficiency light bulbs and, <laughs> and ballasts kind of hide all of that. Next so. time. Next yeah, time. Absolutely. Okay, great stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so generally speaking, what's kind of the price difference between these two technologies? So to go with a full online double conversion using this as parity, uh, you're going to go to a 40% increase. And there's uh, quite a bit of uh, things that you gain for that 40% uh, increase. Okay, yeah. great stuff. Yeah. Um, and then uh, what are these two brands called again? So they are the Lieber branded UPSs under our Vertiv Corporation. Okay. Cool. And these are, uh, what, what models did you say they were? So for our online double conversion, we have the GXT4, which your hand is on. Okay. And on my uh, arm here is the PSI, I for Line Interactive. Okay, awesome stuff. All right, do you want to take it away with the uh, the light bulb test and talk sure. a little bit about so, these So a uh, couple of uh, so modes of operations on the UPS. So right now you have a normal operation. Everything's under utility. So we can simulate an outage here by just cutting power to the UPSs. So keep an eye on both of these here. This light bulb is connected to Line Interactive. This is to the online double conversion. And let's just say you have a power outage. So you can see there's a little bit of a flicker here on the Line Interactive side where the online double conversion is rock solid. There's no switching that occurs on an online double conversion where a Line Interactive actually has to sense it and react to it. So there is a switch time that's involved here where this is actually zero. You're too fast for me, Dennis. Can I see that again? Yeah, sure. So let's go back. We're coming back. Power comes back online. Another flicker there. Okay. And then uh, still rock solid there. So they're qualifying the source. Back on. So let's go ahead and hit it again. So okay. another power outage. So. Oh, I see it that time. Yep. yep. There it is. Okay. So that occurs, you know, maybe a couple times a year. Maybe more depending on your situation. But uh, what could be more often is a sag or a voltage drop that occurs and it's not entirely off so you can have that uh, simulated here with our variac and i'm just going to go ahead and start dropping the voltage what you're going to see here is this has to react to that so sorry what, what is this unit doing exactly? sure so this is a variable resistor uh, uh, some call it the variac so i can vary the voltage going into the ups's okay so I'm going to go ahead and simulate a sag. So we're down to about 90 volts. And we heard a beep here because this is now on battery. Okay. Because it has a sense and it's a momentary duty inverter where this is a continuous duty inverter. So this is actually still running on utility, but because it's double conversion, we can actually buffer that quite a bit more. Let's see what that limit is. Let's go ahead and continue to drop that voltage. So we're going to drop this. We're down to... About 75 volts. And right about here, you oh. hear the click here. So now that is at its battery. Okay. So you also gain battery life for that 40% increase to an online double conversion. For this, you're going to be hitting the batteries a lot more. So 
So over time, you'll actually find that the cost of ownership is probably going to be a bit lower. Okay. Yeah. Awesome stuff. And let's bring it all back to normal state, steady state. Everything's back and qualified. Let's simulate some noise on the, on the line. Let's just save there as a squirrel on the uh, utility lines. Okay. So what you're going to see is a jump in voltage. And you'll see that that actually does get translated to your load here with a line interactive cell UPS, where online double conversion takes that all out. Oh, let, let me just do this. You can really see the difference here. Yeah. Because that is still uh, connected to utility. And so, when I get one of these uh, UPSs, what can I do in terms of uh, to monitoring, for example? What sure. are my options? So, both of these UPSs have an IntelliSlot card on the rear, and we uh, provide Intelli uh, IS Unity DP cards, so uh, BACnet IP, Modbus, SNMP, literally any type of third party uh, monitoring system can communicate with these. And of course, here at Vertiv, we do have the Trellis and uh, uh, SiteScan and Enform systems that are fully compatible. Okay, yep. great. Um, and then Kristen was telling me the other day about uh, some programs that we offer, the PAP or... Mm -hmm. So, obviously these being uh, smaller units are really for the edge of network and you're talking about sometimes hundreds of sites. So we can take some of the load off of you uh, to manage all of that by installing them for you, uh, demolish, uh, actually throwing away some of the uh, existing units because a lot of these are, are something that you replace on a three to five year basis. and uh, start them up, and we even extend the warranty from a three-year on the GXT4, and then uh, I believe a two-year on the PSI. We extend that out to a five-year. Okay, awesome stuff. Um, great. I think that covers everything. So yeah, thanks for that overview, Dennis. Sure. Um, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. Um, just a quick reminder: um, click on the link to subscribe to the Tech Plan page. Um, each week, we give away one lucky subscriber a fifty-dollar Amazon gift card. Um, so make sure you click on the link to uh, enter for a chance to win. And thanks for tuning in to Bite Size. Mm -hmm.